Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. Good morning. Our opening hymn is number 191. Come, O Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Come, O Holy Spirit, come, and from your celestial home, shed a ray of light divine. Come, O Holy Spirit, come. Come, O Father of the poor, come, O source of all our store. Come within our bosom shine, Come, O Holy Spirit, come. You of comforters the best, you the soul's most welcome guest. Sweet refreshment here below, come, O Holy Spirit, come. In our labor rest most sweet, grateful coolness in the heat. Solace in the midst of woe, come, O Holy Spirit, come. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus be with you. With your spirit. As we gather to celebrate the Eucharist today, we pause and we ask Jesus to forgive us our sins. Lord Jesus. You suffered and died upon the cross for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you rose from the dead, giving us the hope of eternal life. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you ascended into heaven and now plead for us at the right hand of your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who never ceased to bestow the glory of holiness on the faithful servants you raise up for yourself, Graciously grant that the Holy Spirit may kindle in us that fire with which he wonderfully filled the heart of St. Philip Neri. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. King Agrippa and Bernice arrived in Caesarea on a visit to Festus. Since they spent several days there, Festus referred Paul's case to the king, saying, There is a man here left in custody by Felix. When I was in Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews brought charges against him and demanded his condemnation. I answered them that it was not Roman practice to hand over an accused person before he had faced his accusers, and they hadn't had the opportunity to defend himself against their charge. So when they came together here, I made no delay. 
The next day, I took my seat on the tribunal and ordered the man to be brought in. His accusers stood around him, but did not charge him with any of the crimes I suspected. Instead, they had some issues of their own about, with him about their own religion and about a certain Jesus who had died, but who Paul claimed was alive. Since I was at a loss to investigate this controversy, I asked if he were willing to go to Jerusalem and there stand trial on these charges. And when Paul appealed that he be held in custody for the emperor's decision, I ordered him held until I could send him to Caesar. The word of the Lord. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. The Lord has established, established his throne, throne in, in heaven. heaven. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord, the Lord has, has established, established his, his throne, throne in heaven. heaven. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he put our transgressions from us, the Lord has established his throne in heaven. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you angels, you mighty in strength who do his bidding. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Holy Spirit will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have told you. Alleluia. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips, yet you may worthily and freely proclaim his holy gospel. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had revealed himself to, the, to his disciples and eaten breakfast with them, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said this to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this to signify by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the Acts of the Apostles, we get bits and pieces. Uh, we're jumping from chapter 23 to chapter 24, 26, and back and forth. But basically what Paul, uh, St. Luke is trying to do is point out that 
Through the Acts of the Apostles, the Apostles are carrying out the command of Jesus to proclaim the gospel to the ends of the world. And it was considered in those days that Rome was kind of the center of civilization. And so Luke is showing how gradually the infant church is spreading the good news from Jerusalem to surrounding areas, to Asia Minor, to Greece, and now to Rome. And when Paul gets to Rome tomorrow, um, the story more or less ends. But there are a number of chapters in between which would be good for you to read uh, to see the whole story. In today's reading, we see Paul is being held in prison. Well, why is he there? Because yesterday or the day before, we saw where a bunch of the Jews were very, very upset with him because he was preaching Jesus contrary to their Jewish laws. Um, the governor was afraid that the people would kill Paul, so he put him in, 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 in prison to protect him. And then he asked Paul if he'd want to have a hearing, and Paul realized he couldn't have a hearing, a just one, in Jerusalem. And so he used his trump card. Somewhere in his life, Paul had achieved Roman citizenship. And so as a Roman citizen, he could always appeal his case to the emperor in Rome. And so today we see Agrippa. Agrippa, King Agrippa, who is he? He was the great-grandson of King Herod the Great. And he was visiting with the governor in, um, in uh, Jerusalem, Festus, and Festus was hearing his cause and pointing out that Paul had pled his case before the, once to plead his case in, in Rome before the emperor. And so as soon as Festus has a chance to ship him there, he will do so. And we'll see Paul arriving in Rome tomorrow. Um, so it's kind of interesting reading and um, I'd encourage you to read the last eight or 10 chapters of the Acts of the Apostles and see it all in sequence uh, and see how it unfolds. Well, I'd like to respond to the song with the Alleluia verse today. That's the job of the Holy Spirit, Jesus says. Um, to the Holy Spirit will remind you of everything I have taught you. And he does that best through the voice of our conscience. I love the gospel today. Um, I'm sure Peter, Ever since the resurrection, I was still feeling very guilty about his threefold denial of Jesus to a servant girl on Holy Thursday night. And I'm sure he's wondering when Jesus is going to bring that up. And I love the way Jesus uh, does it in today's gospel. He simply takes Simon aside after having fed the apostles breakfast, and he asks him three times, do you love me? Giving him a beautiful way to uh, make up for his... Uh, uh, his uh, uh, betrayal and uh, denial that he knew Jesus. Good example for us when somebody offends us, to let them know that they are forgiven in a gentle way rather than to lord it over them. But then I like what he says as he goes on. He says, as a young man, you went about as you pleased. When you're older, others will take you away to where you don't want to go. And it says in parentheses, Jesus says this to indicate by what sort of death Peter would glorify God. And we know from history that in the end, he glorified God by being crucified upside down in the, um, axis, uh, the, in the arena in, in Rome. Um, but I often quote that passage when I'm dealing with people in nursing homes, people in wheelchairs, people of other illnesses. And it's a reminder for me too, as I'm getting older too and facing a lot of these problems, that uh, we give glory to God by embracing our crosses and uh, accepting them, just as Jesus gave glory to God by suffering and dying on the cross. So um, whenever we're facing difficulties in life, whatever they might be, realize that we can give glory to God by embracing those crosses and difficulties rather than complaining about them or trying to avoid them or whatever. No, we can give glory to God by embracing them and in this way showing our love for the Lord. So with that in mind, let us pray. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, help us to embrace the trials and difficulties you give us in life as, as Jesus did, so that in this way we can give glory to you. Grant us this, Lord, and the favors we now ask in Jesus' name.
for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and for Archbishop Lucas, we pray to the Lord. <clears throat> for the universal church throughout the world, that Christians may come to know the Holy Spirit and allow him to enter into their hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish and all those who watch us across the United States, that we may be a beacon of light to others we meet, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are ill, we pray to the Lord. For those who are for those who have died, we pray to the Lord. For more rain throughout the growing season, we pray to the Lord. And for more vocations to the priesthood and religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers we hold silent in our hearts, let us pause and pray. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Carol Ensminger, who will be buried from our church today, and for his loved ones who mourn his passing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer this Mass today for the living and deceased of the Ray Court family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, our Father in heaven, please grant us these and all our needs, for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name, for he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me of my sins. Thank you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look mercifully, O Lord, we pray, upon the sacrificial gifts of your people, and that they may become acceptable to you, let the coming of the Holy Spirit cleanse our consciences through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he may make a us shares in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Bless
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created right to give you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things to make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection until, until you come again. And therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the Most Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Joseph, St. Isidore, um, and uh, St. Philip Neri, and with all your saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely from failing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, the entire people your son has gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summon before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to either pass them from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory to Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow in the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. <clears throat> Please join me in making a spiritual communion. <clears throat> My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you if you are already there and deny myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that in imitation of St. Philip, we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our final name is number 456, Come Holy Ghost. Come, Holy Ghost, Creator blessed, and in our hearts take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. To fill the hearts which thou hast made. O comforter, to thee we cry, Thou heavenly gift of God most high, The fount of life and fire of love, and sweet anointing from above, and sweet anointing from above. Praise be to Thee, Father and Son, and Holy Spirit with them one. And may the sun on us bestow the gifts that from the Spirit flow, the gifts that from the Spirit flow. May Almighty God bless you. And the Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors.